In this video, we'll be looking at how to find trig function values using a calculator. Our directions tell us to approximate the value of each expression. And our first example is tangent of 68 degrees, 43 minutes. Well, when you know the angle measure, all you have to do is use one of your three trig function values on your calculator, sine, cosine, and tangent. Now before you do though, make sure that you have visible that it's in degrees. If it's not, you want to check your mode. And in this particular calculator, basically you just have to hit the button that says DRG, that stands for Degrees, Radians, and Grads. So when we hit that, watch here and see what happens in the display. When I hit uh, DRG, I can pick either Degrees, Radians, or Grads. And if it's not Degrees underlined, um, you need to change it to Degrees. So for our problem, we want to do tangent, so we'll hit our tangent button, and this calculator automatically opens up the argument. If yours doesn't, you need to open parentheses, because we have some uh, arithmetic that needs to be done here. Uh, we have our 68, and then we'd have to add 43 divided by 60 to take care of the 43 minutes. And then close the argument and we get 2.56707. Now you need to um, decide how many decimal places you want to round to, look at the directions on your problem, or you may want to save that value in your calculator for use later. Let's do another example. In this problem, we want the cosine of 193.622. This is already in decimal degrees, so all I need to do is enter the trig function, which is cosine. And then this argument, 193.622. Close the argument and hit enter. So it looks like negative To another example. All right, this time we have a reciprocal function, so before we can grab our calculator, because the only three functions that show on our calculator is sine, cosine, and tangent. So before we can uh, grab our calculator to work this problem, I need to state that this cosecant is 1 divided by sine. So 1 divided by the sine of 35.8471 degrees. So now on my calculator, I can do 1 divided by 1 divided by and then my sine 35.8471 and then close the argument. So this is 
And let's do one more. Now our calculators are okay with negative degrees, but again, this is a reciprocal function. So I need to write this as one divided by, and the reciprocal of secant is cosine. So one divided by the cosine of a negative 287. One divided by the cosine of negative 287 is 3.42030.